Soil is not our property. It's a legacy that's come to us from previous generations and we must pass it on as living soil for future generations. If we do not do this one thing, future generations will look upon us as a very irresponsible generation. <laughs> I'm 65 and I'm riding 30,000 kilometers. <laughs> not a joyride at this age. Well, I thought before I'm too old and no good for anything, I will do my bit. Every one of you, let's do our bit and let's make this happen. It's a great pleasure for me, these beautiful Caribbean nations are going for this first. <laughs> this memorandum of understanding that we are signing, it will also bring some technical assistance to the Caribbean region. This is a historic moment because here is the first step to turn around. probably one of the most famous Indians and what you're doing today is really important because people like you who have a wonderful following of millions and millions of people and what you're doing with that is so important with saving the soil. If you want to say I love you to your child, you must just say save soil because it is a more committed way of saying I love you. Every single one of us needs to get behind this really, really important mission. It's an extraordinary campaign. It echoes what we in the Commonwealth have been aspiring to do for a number of years. Next hundred days from 21st of March, we want the whole world to talk about soil. It is not about the motorcycle, it's not about the journey, it's not about the song. It is about moving people on the planet. Make it happen, huh? Nobody spoke about soil like Sai Guru does. I think if we all contribute, then we have a really strong voice. There has been so much excitement and everybody is so excited to hear Sadhguru. <laughs> This is our time on the planet. What we do here is our business. Let's do the right things. I honestly didn't feel a part of the movement before, obviously. I'd never met him. Seeing what kind of a following he has and how impactful it is, I really feel like I just joined a global movement. Graffiti artists supporting this Safe Soil movement, wanting to inspire the youth, and youth being the major population in most parts of the world today, all graffiti artists, to whatever walls that you have, Make sure that you use this. One of the most beautiful cities of Europe. It really resonated with me, the message that we have to save uh, our soil. It's our common issue together. It's not for one nation, for one person, but uh, we as people have to unite and uh, to solve this. This is a celebration of human beings coming together to do what they need to do. I had a wonderful meeting with the Agriculture Minister, of Slovenia. Rishimo Prost! 
all of us have been part of this destruction. The only way is all of us become part of the solution also. Yeah. Riding on to Italy, Italy is raining heavily tonight. Here in Venice, it's like a, a wave of hope. It's necessary for the future. Over two thousand years ago, this eternal city made the mistake of overfarming the region and the erosions that caused did tremendous damage and that was also the fall of the city at that time. So, the Romans of today should never make that mistake once again. And we are very happy that we are aligned in our message to a really high the profile of soils and we believe that is very much needed. Young people, getting into farming is very good. That's the future of the world. Thank you. Here we are in Geneva. I think there, it's a message of urgency, but it's also a message of hope. So I'd really like to thank Sagburo for his leadership. The global movement led by him addresses the soil crisis by mobilizing people around the entire world. It touches your heart, you know, and his message is strong. This massive fountain in the Lake of Geneva is lit up for Save Soil today. With Save Soil colors of blue and green, you cannot stop this. The moment is on. It's going to be on till the policies are done. See, when people want it, it definitely will happen. There's no question about it. Tell me, will it happen? Yeah! In this cold, slippery road and winds are picking up speed, no matter what the hell, I have to keep going. You think this is a problem? Relentless commitment to what you do, that is the only solution. Save soil, let's make it happen. We already have one action, which is an MOU to be signed between Isha Foundation and 4 per thousand initiative soils for food security and climate for cooperation in achieving our objective of creating a healthier soil. We were just sharing exactly the same object, increasing carbon content in the soil. I'm really uh, humbled uh, by your campaign, uh, Sadhguru. What you are doing is really impressive. First, I would like to, to thank Sadhguru for this campaign. I'm quite amazed and thrilled by it. I was very honored to be on the stage and, and be able to actually express that, that uh, his mission is uh, what we need. It's fantastic. The plans have been great. Brussels. Let's put together and work uh, on a common message for all to, to save a resource that uh, determines our future. Save the soil. We should all stand up and make the most impact we can to create a real change in the world. Get the bottom! And then a smashing evening at the <laughs> main event. And a super enthusiastic crowd committing themselves to make this happen. It's, it's heartwarming to see everybody come together. Save soil on the moon. Let's make it happen. Just look up the news and see in the last four months, how many governments have started talking about soil because they see it's picking up momentum. But if you create three to four billion people talking about soil, that's it. That will be the main conversation in the government. Save the Soil is a very important movement that we support as UNCCD. We would like to propose to the world to do whatever they can to protect the soil because it is our future. Save Soil, let's make it happen. The education ministry in Germany has now 
come into the picture officially and asked all the children to do artwork to support Save Soil Movement. <laughs> Good, Arjun. Wonderful. Congratulations that you wrote to the Prime Minister. Let's make it happen! So, on the way to Bratislava, well, the road surface is not great, too many puddles of water, so can't maintain very high speed. It's great that all of you are here in Bratislava. Nobody ever imagined hundred years ago that we will have to save soil of all the things. Thank you for coming to Slovakia. It's a wonderful and uh, I'm very happy that the video campaign. Would you like to come in the kitchen and cook with me a little Why bit? Why not? Without soil being rich, food won't be rich. Without food being rich, our bodies will not be a full potential. What do you call that? <laughs> It's a Sadhguru, sir. <laughs> Table 12. <laughs> the old heroes always build something which stands up like this, but the new heroes are those people who will nurture the soil which always lies beneath our feet, never stands up. <laughs> this wonderful city of Belgrade. The UNFAO said something which really deeply hurt me is, the soil that we are consuming right now belongs not even to these little children, belongs to the unborn child. This is an expression of our love and responsibility for our own lives and the future lives. I love the message that he sent and how he like broadened it that it's everybody's responsibility. there is a great potential for a good collaboration, partnership with the campaign Save the Soil and what we are doing as a government, we can make it together. It's very important bringing a certain sense of love and celebration towards the land that we walk upon. It's just afternoon. But temperatures are around two degrees, morning it was below zero. Not a weather for motorcycle, for sure. Ah, going from Sofia to Bucharest. Organize yourselves whichever way you want. Form groups, come together somehow and see this happens. Sadhguru reminded me that I have a voice. The people from Istanbul were really amazed by Sadhguru to appear and they were just so happy to see him. This many people, if all of you are committed and you spend fifteen, twenty minutes a day to enhance the message, I think I don't have to go on riding like crazy. Yesterday I rode eighteen hours. Can you believe this through Bulgarian roads? It's an honest expression of his wisdom and love for humanity, I think. He's been riding through very uh, you know, rough terrain, rough, rough roads, dusty construction sites. It was a long drive and we were getting a little late for the live event at Tbilisi. He, right at the end, uh, maybe five minutes before the event, uh, decided that he couldn't stop for a break. In the traffic, he was just removing his jacket and gloves and throwing in the car just to make it on time.
the whole purpose of this moment is to first to bring this home that when you walk upon the soil, you know it is the source of your life. Keeping it alive is the most important thing. Will you make it happen? We could have touched or we nearly about 1.2 to 1.3 billion people have spoken about soil since 21st of March, but that's not good for us. We want 3 to 4 billion people. He's a gift from God for, for the people, for the earth, yes. for the soil. We must save the soil, we must plant the trees, we must replenish the forest, we must save our planet. Wonderful, thank you so much for standing up for soil. Right now, soil has turned into sand because we pulled out all the organic content. We are taking the life out of the soil. If we don't put that back, all the other concerns which are important to be attended to, but none of them will matter. This is not for us, this is for him and his generation, hoping that they would have a better future with a better world. Safe soil. As a motorcycle driver, I also like motorcycles, and it's not easy. The, the, the main, this guy is devoted. This is what makes him so impressive, and so he touches people. When it comes to agriculture, when it comes to soil, when it comes to soil ecology, our national borders mean nothing because microorganisms operate as a global system. People are talking about doctors without borders. I'm asking you, are you beings without borders? Are you a life without borders? The only way and the only way we can see the continuum of life process is that it can be… it has to be addressed globally. Implementation has to happen on the land and land is not managed by scientists, land is managed by farmers. So it's extremely important, it must be a single point agenda, incentive-based agenda. If inspiration, incentives and disincentives after a certain period of time is the way forward, this is my appeal to every one of you because I don't want this COP15 to end as one more convention with more paper and more paper. This must end with concrete action, an action in such a way that is it's implementable.